We're back on the old Ancient Archer game engine. I've got some exciting things to show you. Like this bounty board. Yeah, here it is. You can just find it right here under projects. And there's a bunch of things that coders or game engine programmers can, can do and add to this engine. And I'll send, send you money. That's how it goes. So take a look at the bounty board if you're a C++ coder. And if you can do any of these things, then... Hooray, you just gotta get to them before other people, or me, which shouldn't be too hard. Some of them are actually pretty easy, I just don't know what the heck I'm doing sometimes, or I'm busy. So, uh, yeah, have some fun, and uh, make a pull request. Alright, other big news in the engine. We are actually releasing builds. Can you believe it? We've got version 1, which uh, has some notes about all the stuff that generally works. And uh, I've already released the next version. Two fixes a few things. It's not too bad. We started adding some uh, interfaces, the big things, and I refactored a bunch of stuff. So let's take a look at it. Hello, Visual Studio. All right, welcome. So here is the example project that we're running. This is just an application that is attached to the library. This is uh, an implementation, so to speak or an example of making a game or whatever, doing stuff with the library. The actual library is right here. In the includes, you will see Ancient Archer folder, and here are the public headers. The only one you really need to include is this one here. So yeah, we're going to look at example project and take a quick peek at how it goes. Let's go ahead and run that sucker. It's going right down through this main. It's going to spit out this stuff in the console, init, run through all these functions which just help set up things. Uh oh, we've got some build errors. Oh, I've got to switch to a different branch. Hold on a second. Alright, switch to the branch I'm supposed to be on. Reload, rebuild. Oh, I've still got a bunch of extra stuff in here that shouldn't be in here. Alright, there we go. Much better. So, example project is building. It's, it's doing great. There we go. And it launches. So I'm going to press tab and I have that program to open up this inventory like thing which is just an example of the GUI. So it tells you all the hotkeys you can press in this mode. Tab puts you into this inventory thing. And you can see I messed with the alpha on hover so the on hover is calculating okay. This guy is still just uh, spinning because hey, sample. Alright, and we got some audio working of course. So yeah, take a look at the repo, please do give it a star, check out the projects, check out the bounty board, check out the code, and let's get this project off the ground. I'm really excited to make an actual game with it, and to get there I definitely need some help, it's a lot of work. Yeah, I guess I should also mention this is purely coming out of my own pocket, whatever I'm paying, so I'm literally putting my own money into this. At this point, not sponsored by any big corporation or anything, but there is something you could do to help me out as, a, I don't know, my own sponsor, I guess. There's never been a better time to get involved in crypto. It's, it's a wild, wild world. You can join Coinbase and get some free Bitcoin as well, and I'll get some free Bitcoin. You do have to deposit at least 100 bucks. Okay, so if you join with my link, you will get $10 in Bitcoin, which could be who knows how much when Bitcoin goes to a million, because you know it will someday. You just know it will. You both get free Bitcoin when a friend buys or sells $100 worth of crypto. So yeah, all you got to do is just like sign up, buy some Bitcoin. It's kind of low right now. It looks like it's going to spike back up. I know, don't take my word for it. Do your own research. Make your own decisions. But obviously, you want to have some way to get involved in crypto. You might as well get started on Coinbase and uh, use my link and we'll both profit so like double sponsored not only am I sponsored you're sponsored all right click that link let's uh let's make some let's make some cool game engine stuff so if these don't get solved I will up the bounty at some point if like they're just sitting here for a month and nobody's figured them out or added them so eventually they'll have such a high bounty that nobody will be able to turn it down and they'll have to they'll have to help out I just want this engine to be off the ground. It's something that I love. I'm going to talk about it a little more. Okay, forewarning. 
This might be a bit scattered because it's a lot to cover and I'm going to try to do it quickly. So feel free to ask questions or join the Discord. Link down below to join the Discord and we can talk about it even more there. Okay, the main project to work on is this AA engine solution up here. Below is just some projects that already have it pre-linked. I've talked about these kind of projects in the previous couple videos too, I believe. They're basically just implementations of the engine. So if you're adding a feature or you're fixing something, it's in general going to be in source. So everything here in source and end user or someone making a project off this engine won't have direct access to source. They have to go through the publicly available functions in this ancient archer header. So you can build whatever features you want, but ultimately they're all linked together and managed by these functions here. So every function that is publicly available will implement your functions and, and do all that stuff. So ultimately when you init the engine, it, it fires everything up, the windowing and all that, the graphics. And when you hit run, it starts the core loops. The core loops are private, but they have all this stuff that you mess with auto managed to some extent. Like if you add a prop or a model and it has a lit shader, it's going to automatically use the lights you have. If you have it with just a diff shader, it's going to ignore the lights. So some of that stuff is automatic. All the data is hidden. You will find it in the CPP class and it's all declared near the top. Everything is always in the namespace of AA. So these are things that are used in the loop. Just know that all the loop code is also in here as well as the implementations of these functions. And if there's any held variables, like we have the list of objects and the list of lights and all that stuff, or vectors of them rather, those are all held privately and managed through these functions of add and remove. And everything works off of IDs. If it has an ID, then the class has a base type with a unique ID. So you can, it's basically a rudimentary system of keeping track of unique things and being able to access them by their unique. I encourage you to dig through some more. That's kind of an overview of it. Thank you all so much for watching. A huge shout out to my patrons. I really appreciate you guys. And uh, yeah, don't forget to check out Coinbase, get involved in crypto, join the Discord. Just imagine all the things I should say here and that I said them. Well, that <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Matt from Code Tech Tutorials, over and out. Look forward to chatting with you guys soon.